Okay, we're going to make a uh, line graph here. We've got some data here that is the year and the uh, number of iPhone sales in millions. Uh, as we have been doing for our graphs, we've been highlighting all the data. And as we do that, we can choose to either go insert chart or find chart on the menu. And uh, when we do that, we're going to see some choices here. Um, the one that we probably want is the one that has the broken line, the line trend there. So I'm going to choose that one and we're going to customize that. And so let's take a look at the customization. The title seems okay. It's a little bit uh, not very inventive, but certainly is fine. Uh, I don't know that we need a legend in this one, so we can actually get rid of the legend. And let's take a look at what else we can do. Uh, okay, so for the horizontal axis, the scale is a little bit funny here. And so remember that the scale, we can change what is there by the number of grid lines. So this number is the number of grid lines. And right now we have one, two, three, four, five grid lines. Let's see what six does. So when we have six, you can see that that actually gets our data in there for every year. So that's ideal. Uh, so we have a good horizontal axis. Let's take a look at the vertical axis. So we'll drop that down and choose left vertical. And it's, it's fine that it goes from zero to 60, but it goes in 15, uh, in chunks of 15. So we're gonna change the number of grid lines again uh, from five to, let's say, what does six do? Six is no good, right? So we want something that is, uh, is going to give us something maybe a more reasonable amount there and this is going in tens so that seems to work out really nice uh, as we look at some of the other scales here we can choose the scale to be uh, um, uh, the decimal value of the scale um, and uh, change the line thickness and it's probably a good idea to include points so I'm going to choose a seven point value and then now you can see the actual points uh, there and once we've got that um, if we want we could choose the value on each point if we wanted for extra uh, information and well, I guess maybe we'll leave that there and choose insert and we have got our graph now you may have heard of a broken line graph and a continuous line graph uh, broken line graph is what we have here because the data in the horizontal axis is discrete. It is years, uh, at least in the way that it's given here. Um, if it was more finer in detail, that is, it could have been any point in the year, any date in the year, then that could have been considered a continuous line graph. And in that case, the graph would look a little bit smoother.